when it comes to contribution to open source, you folks announced Flow IPC. What is it? Flow IPC. I'm very excited about that because I was, uh, well, among other reasons, uh, I'm proud of it and I'm a uh, lead developer. Uh, Flow IPC is, mm, I've, I've checked this. Yeah, so uh, Flow IPC is the first original Akamai open source project, or at least among them. Uh, so it's a middleware in C++ for C++ programmers. Uh, it is, well, as in the name, it's for IPC, which means inter-process communication. Uh, it's about 100 to 200,000 lines of code. Um, and essentially, it is for everyday C++ system programmers who want IPC to be easy and for it to be fast. Can you talk about what exactly is Flow IPC? What does it do? The best way to explain it, I think, is to show what is it about IPC, uh, what is it and why it's even difficult uh, or what the challenges are. And uh, I actually like this topic. Uh, I can, I feel I can even explain it to a lay person, a complete lay person. It's pretty simple to understand, I think. Uh, which is this. So what is IPC? IPC means you have essentially two threads of execution doing something at the same time because computers have multiple processor cores. So that's how software uh, runs these days. And you're doing something in one thread and then you've got a piece of data, for example, a piece of this video that you're watching, right? Uh, and so this one thread is responsible for something and then there's another thread that's responsible for something else, but you need to pass some data, for example, a piece of this video uh, from one thread to another. So you sort of transmit it, you send it. Uh, and then the other thread receives it and then immediately takes over and starts working on that piece of data. For example, it might send it over the network back to your browser uh, and then you watch this stuff. So uh, that is IPC, uh, except that's between two threads and normally one does it in, within one program and it's very, very easy. Programmers do it all the time, very familiar with this. But the way operating systems are set up these days, uh, when these two threads are in different programs, uh, let's say a web server and some security server, let's say, uh, then uh, they are in different programs and then you still have to do the same operation. It's exactly the same thing. You're passing a piece of data from one to the other. So that's IPC, that's inter-process communication. Uh, and What's hard about it is that, um, at the very least, uh, let's say you're passing along a whole gigabyte of data, right? In that case, the easiest way to do it is use an operating system technique, which will essentially take the gigabyte of data and copy it into the operating system on one end, and then in the other program, copy it out of the operating system kernel. Uh, so that is simply put slow. So if you have, a lot of these, a lot of this copying going on between program and another program and another program and another program, then when you click the video, it will just add that and that's called latency and nobody likes latency. So essentially it's either IPC normally in C++ is either too annoying <laughs> or it is too slow. So flow IPC makes it easy and fast by completely eliminating copying essentially.